the Crazy Spartan. It blew right through us. 50 cal, rockets, didn't do a thing. Where's the rest of your platoon? Wasted, Sarge. And we will be too, sir, if we don't get the hell out of here. You hit Marine. N no, sir. Then listen up. You had your chance to be afraid before you joined my beloved corps. But to guide you back to the true path, I brought this motivational device. Our big green style cannot be defeated. What about that scarab? We've all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Stay with the Master G. You'll know what to do. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the ladies like. What's up, guys? Craze here, and just decided to do a little bit of a Let's Play. Uh, just enjoying some Halo 2, because, you know what? I loved Halo 2. Halo 2 was awesome. Um, this is actually right here. This mission right here. Uh, this is the first time I ever was in a Halo tank, ever, and I was just like, oh wow, this is awesome, we get to drive tanks, <laughs> how many games at the time, how many games at the time do you get to just run around and drive tanks, and it drove so well, it was so amazing, because man, I tell you what, some of the controls on the uh, games at that time were kind of really hard to uh, get around, so I think I remember... Now, Unreal Tournament, if you guys remember that game, uh, that was that was like an online game. It was like the big thing at the time. Unreal Tournament and Quake, like the original. And uh, the controls were just so goofy. They just didn't feel right. And uh, I'm sitting here playing this, and it just felt so right, so good. And it's like, oh, this is awesome. This is so awesome. But this is kind of an interesting story. Like I said, this is the first time I jumped into Halo Tank because I didn't play Halo CE first. I played Halo 2, and this was back in 2005. And I was actually uh, on base at the time. I was in the military. We were in dry dock. And uh, during dry dock, they'd do a whole bunch of retrofitting and fixing and, and upgrading and whatever else. I mean, it's a whole big thing when you are in dry dock. It took us about a year to get out of it. So it was good times, good fun. Uh, so we were in the birthing, and they had this little rec area set up, and they had TVs and uh, about four or five uh, OG Xboxes, you know. So, and they had the Halo 2, and I was like, wow. Well, I'm kind of interested in Halo. You know, I was watching the Red vs. Blue series, so I thought that was just hilarious. Just so much funny stuff. And uh, watching that, it's like, I want to play this Halo game because it really sounds awesome. So I jump on and I, I get the disc and uh, I start playing Halo. And it kind of kind of sucked at the time a little bit. I'm not saying the game sucked. I'm saying uh, my situation sucked because it was uh, kind of frustrating uh, in the aspect that so much noise was going on. I mean, there was a gym right next to me. There was uh, that small theater. Um, and I'm talking really small theater. I, I don't think it was, you know, 20 by 20 feet. Uh, but it was kind of nice, like a bit, just a big screen projection TV. It was like, oh, that's awesome. And you gotta remember, at the time, LCDs were not a thing, guys. LCD TVs were not a thing. God, I'm old. <laughs> but I'm sitting there. And I'm playing, and I can't hear any of the commentary or any of the any of the story plot. I'm just playing the game. I try to turn the TV up, but it just doesn't help. And uh, yeah, it was, it was frustrating. It was frustrating, but I got through the game, and it was just absolutely fantastic, absolutely amazing. And I was just hooked, man. I was hooked ever since. Uh, I had no multiplayer at all at that time. None. Just didn't have any. Because, you know, it just didn't have any hookup. The only way you could do multiplayer was split screen. And I think a couple people, you know, came up and said, Hey, let's let's do some. And I was like, no, I don't think so. I think I'm going to be about done. 
know, because I had no idea. I was like a super scrubbity scrub scrub, and I had no idea what multiplayer was or how to deal with it, because you got to remember, guys. you got to remember, multiplayer wasn't a thing until Halo 2. I mean, I mean, not like online multiplayer. It was not a thing. Uh, you could do it, absolutely, uh, but the matchmaking system and all that stuff was not a thing until Halo 2. Um, I think Max Hoberman pretty much created that. And now it's just like uh, everybody has it everywhere. But Max Hoberman was the guy. He, he, he is a huge, huge figure in the gaming industry. Let's see if I can't get him. And there you go. Lead your shots, fellas. When you're driving tanks, lead your shots. It's all about the skill. <laughs> oh, so much pain. Oh, I say that because Halo 3. I play uh, Mass Chief Collection a lot. Uh, at least I have been lately. And Halo 3 is voted for all the time. And I'm not, I mean, I like Halo 3. I do, but the uh, gunplay is kind of frustrating with the shot leading and. Uh, especially with the sniper, it's just a little frustrating. However, I do enjoy it, but I still don't know why people vote for ARs. I, I don't understand. Why, why do you vote for ARs on that game? I don't know. Because it's just like, oh, this is terrible. And the worst, the worst, I'm sorry, is Valhalla with ARs. I don't know who votes for that, but come on, people. <laughs> what are you thinking? It's like the BR is bad enough on uh, on Valhalla, but man, you throw in the ARs and that's what you start with. You are hunting down BRs. You like, I need to get a BR because it's just you can't hit nothing. You have to be right on top of them to get anything. But I don't know. People like it. I understand. I mean, so I like Halo Three. I ain't gonna say I don't because I loved every single Halo game every single one of them and uh, <laughs> it's just kind of silly I just don't understand why people choose some of the things they choose but I don't know maybe they just they just love that I don't know uh, just thoughts just thoughts so I'm just sitting here enjoying uh, some Halo 2 anniversary or I'm sorry Halo Halo 2 campaign as this is actually like I said one of my favorite ones of all time first time I ever got into a tank and I actually kind of found a little exploit here I'm going to show you here. If you guys don't know this, it's kind of cheating, but I almost ran over a Marine. It's like, that's what you get for diving in front of my tracks, you goof. It's like all these Marines. It's like, move, come on, move, move. I kind of want up there. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to get, move. Okay, we're going to move. I think I, I did run over one, but I was like, come on, get out of the way. <laughs> That yes, you can get the Halo 2 tank up in there. If you're playing Legendary, this is a trick you want to do. Because I tell you what, having a tank on your side on this over here is a lot better than a shotgun. It's like, yep. Yeah, that's just... I, 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 oof, this Halo 2 Legendary, I'm sorry, it is so hard. It, they might as well have just called it Mythic because it is incredibly difficult to do. Yep, I'm sneaking my tank. Don't worry about it. I know I'm not supposed to have a tank in here, but I got one anyways. And boom. <laughs> uh, it's a little cheat. I mean, but hey, it's there. Might as well. <laughs> oh, that's what I love, man. These little things that you're not supposed to do, but you'd get to do it anyways because it's just in the sandbox and they didn't quite do it as well as they should have. But I could just run over here, kill everything, and just call it good. Absolutely fantastic. I said, honestly, this, this is like one of my favorite missions of all time, period. I think I got them all. I'm not sure. Um, no, there's a couple. There's something running around over there yet. I can't chase him out. There he is. Look at that. There he is. <laughs> Uh, you think they'd want to run or something? I was like, nope. We're just going to hit, sit here and eat some bullets from that. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my uh, sniper rifle. I, like I said, I am cheating here. I'm just saying. I got the bandana skull on. So, 
<laughs> but like I said, at least it's not the Scarab Skull. The Scarab Skull, you might as well just forget it. Just forget it. You just decimate everything. Absolutely everything. There's nothing in your way. So go and check out this stuff. I mean, I've, it's been so long. Remember that? You had a flashlight? <laughs> I thought that was like the coolest thing. Uh, back in uh, Halo CE, when I did play it on, finally on PC, it's like, man, I can turn on a flashlight. It's like, really? That's your big thing? It's like, at the time, yeah. It was a kind of a big thing. It was kind of really cool to have. So, well, this area here, guys, this area here on Legendary is horrible. You have about, a, I don't know, 50 freaking uh, jackal snipers. Well, not 50, but you know what I mean. And they just one-shot you. Just randomly one-shot you everywhere. It was so terrible. I hated this mission, or this spot here. When I went through it, I, I can't even tell you how long it took me to get through this on Legendary. Because you just walking around, and you try to sneak and get as many uh, jackals as you can. And it was so hard because you just get dropped. There, there was no second shot. Uh, if you got hit, is is as powerful as the binary rifle in Halo 4. If you got hit, you died. <laughs> Especially if you were weak in any way, yeah, you're done. You are so done. Let's go ahead and get in this gauss hog. Hello, boys. Have some grenades. Grenades for everybody. Oh, here's another quick tip. Do not let this guy drive. <laughs> Just, just get in the, just get in the vehicle, and just you drive. Yeah, this, come on, don't, don't dive under the tires. You don't need to kill yourself. Just get in the gun. There you go. So that's something I like to do a lot is uh, in the campaign. Number one, get a gunner, because they, they are such good targets. They're they such uh, good shots. Period. They hit just about everything. And then get yourself a passenger but give him a power weapon of some kind rockets uh, fuel rod um, it doesn't matter uh, laser something really really powerful because they don't ever run out of ammo and they can just keep firing away like if I had a laser this guy would be dead if I had a passenger with the laser or even rockets and sometimes it's frustrating because they don't fire as often as you'd like but it is so helpful especially in like ODST this Gauss Hog is amazing. I love this thing. Uh, ODST, absolutely do that. I think he, I think it was Salvo Highway or something. It's not Salvo Highway. It's the, uh, it's a mission where you're running around as Dutch. And uh, you run around in the, the safari land or something like that. And you start off right away. You got no weapons. And just get yourself a, a gunner with that laser and uh, you, you're going to be good to go. There you go. Get in the passenger. Ah, boy, buddy. There you go. Let's take off. And that just helps so much, especially when you're taking down race or something because you got the gunner in the back, and you also have you know, the uh, guy with the uh, Spartan laser. So it just really takes care of some of the bigger vehicles really quick and easy and some of the turrets in that zone. I, I wish I could remember it at the time. I'm looking in that... I guess uh, it's a marine in that one, that ghost. Ah, this spot here. This is also a terrible spot because of these stupid jackals. Oh, you're running legendary and you run around the corner and you just get tore up with these jackals. They just shoot you dead. <laughs> oh, I always love the commentary of your passengers, man. That's like the best. Do they even still do that? I mean, I'm kind of curious. I, I can't remember. That was like a Halo 2, Halo 3 thing where you're driving around in your Warthog and you got passengers on the campaign and they said some crazy things. And I absolutely loved it. And I just don't recall it after that, to be honest. You know, I'm going to have to check that out. Just like get into some Warthog missions and get some gunners and just see what they say, if they say anything. Is that remember? Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm sorry. Just thinking about that, and it's kind of fun. God, this looks so beautiful. It really does. 
That's why I'm really hoping the Master Chief Collections update is going to be coming soon. And we're going to have something amazing. The, not just the campaigns, but I want to just really get in there and just enjoy it. Play it and have fun. And uh, especially like Halo 2 Anniversary is just such an underrated game at this point. Because it only has like six maps, seven maps. And it's just kind of a shame because they're just absolutely beautiful and just need to be played a lot more. This is like, yeah, no, I'm, a, I'm just going to stick with this. I said, just a reminder, I am cheating. I got the bandana skull on, but like I said, I just want to play and just have fun and enjoy the game for what it is. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Dude, how awesome is this? When you're sitting here playing this the first time, and you see this big old nasty thing come at you, it just destroy a tank, and you're like, oh, biscuits. That's not good. That's not good. And it's coming this way. Oh, what am I going to do now? So, yeah. So I'm sitting here going, ah. Now I'm not too worried about it, because I've done it, like, you know, 50 times. Man, I can't even tell you how many times I've played the Halo 2 campaign. The Halo... I've played every single Halo campaign probably, you know, five, ten times each. With probably the exception of Halo 4 and Halo 5. Halo 5, I've played through twice. I played through it on normal, you know, just to play through it and get my feel of it. And then I played through on Legendary, and that's... That's the last time I've played through it. I don't know. The story in Halo 5, I just... It just didn't jive with me. And I think a lot of it... I, I just don't know. Don't understand. It just wasn't for me. Uh, anyways, hopefully. Hopefully. They said that whoever it was... I can't, I can't tell you his name. Uh, off the top of my head. But did the storyboard and everything for... Uh, Halo 5 and Halo 4... Uh, he was let go, fired, whatever, and uh, they hired what's his name? Oh, for, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know names, but who did the Arkham series, Arkham Knight, Batman series? Oh man, I'm really hoping that they're going to be amazing because man, I love that game. I've played through every Arkham at least three times, uh, probably even more, because I just absolutely love them. I love the gameplay on them. And I love the stories. Uh, even, uh, what was it, the Arkham Origins? That wasn't the actual Rocksteady games, but that was actually, I think it was Rocksteady. Uh, but it was still an incredibly good story and very well done. Very similar gameplay. So, really enjoyed that one. So, I'm just really, really kind of looking forward to a really nice uh, Halo game. Hopefully, something. Something just absolutely amazing. Uh, story-wise, just to help clean up the mess that we're in right now. I'm sorry. But if you like the Halo 5 campaign, I mean, that's okay. But I personally just did not enjoy it. I thought it was just not executed well. And I'm just really hoping for a really solid, solid... Would you stop shooting me in the back? There you go. Just solid campaign and just solid game. Oh, that'd be nice. But this is about it for this game. I hope you enjoyed this little Let's Play and chat. Uh, so we'll catch you guys here again later. Uh, this is the Gray Spartan. I'm out of here. Chief and return to you in Amberclad. Roger that. Status. Sir, the Prophet is bugging out. Request permission to engage. Negative, Commander. All Vector 2 heavies for star side intercept. Bam! Slip space rupture off the target's bow. It's going to jump inside the city. There's no time, sir. Green light. Green light to engage. Punch it. Get us close. Ma'am, without a destination solution, we are not losing that ship. Like and 
subscribe.